Welcome to Budapest. We are at the Notch Czarnok, the uh, big food market hall, which is a must-see tourist attraction. It was built in 1897 and it offers a three-story uh, building with uh, salamis, vegetables you can get produced from all over Hungary. I think we should check it out and you should come here too. Let's check it out. As you can see, we are in the tourist season and the uh, Notch Czarnok, it uh, attracts a lot of tourists. There is an upstairs, there is a downstairs and there is this um, floor which has all the markets. Um, they have everything from Sega to Kalocha, they have food from all around the country. And uh, yeah, it's, it smells very good when you enter the, uh, the building here, so I think we have to check out all, all the markets here. I feel like you step like, let's say, 100 years back in time because you can see they hang all the pepper fruits, the paprikas, and uh, they have everything with paprika. Paprika sweets, paprika candy, chips, everything. Oh, amazing. Even though there is a lot of tourists here in uh, the uh, Notch Channel, you can still feel that it's still also where locals go shopping sometimes because it really offers everything and I would say the prices aren't that big compared to supermarkets, it's nearly the same. So uh, it's very uh, authentic if you can say it that way. At some point we want to make a video where we go here and buy some groceries and stuff, paprika to make maybe a Czech paprika at home and then see if you can taste the difference from the food here and the ones you find in supermarkets also. They also have a huge selection of spirits, wine. You can get Palinka, Matcha Palinka. You can get the Tokai wine. So it's also a place if you want to get drunk, which is So we're trying the uh, Medj, Reitesh. We I love Reitesh, you know that. And uh, it's produced here, made here with the local ingredients and products. And it looks pretty good for a Reitesh. It's sour cherry. Mmm. Only one euro, so good price. Mmm. Very good. It's more fresh than I thought, so it must be local. As you can see, there's also tons of uh, butchers, uh, hushbold meat shops, and you can buy um, sausages from Saget pig sausage. You can buy from uh, all around Hungary, east, west, north, south Hungary. Um, and I mean, you can really taste the difference. I think one day we're going to make a video where we taste all these sausages and taste the differences. But it's uh, quite amazing. And if we go upstairs in a minute, we will also try to uh, taste all of this put together in dishes. Very delicious for me as a foodie. It's also interesting to see that most of these butchers, they use all the parts of the animal. Not only the good parts, but also the bad parts. They are much cheaper. Yeah. 
And if it wasn't enough, you can also go buy your groceries in Aldi downstairs. I mean, come on. To be honest, when you have this, why not use it and take advantage of it? It's, it's amazing. It's a, a dream for me. Now we go upstairs to check out the uh, restaurant area and the souvenir area. It's huge up there. This is a very nice shirt with the Budapest transit system. I should get this. Yeah, it's always something like this. It's also all the Ungarische Küche, einfach und schnell. All the restaurants. All the cookbooks, I mean. Paprika Kartoffeln. Looks good. Most of these places are, I would say, quite expensive. Uh, now we live in Hungary, so we know you can just go a bit outside the city and get everything for half the price. But I mean, for a plate paying 8,000 forints, it's a bit expensive. Anyway, this is for tourists, so it makes sense, total sense. But we recommend going outside the city center. What do you think about it, Aisha? I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm going into a tourist trap. I never thought I was going to do it. Here I am. Ask me if I would ever pay 2,000 foreign for a goulash. Goulash? No, but I mean, it's tourist day for us, so we have to do it. Here's a goulash. Supposedly, it should have been made of um, vegetables and uh, meat from uh, this whole market hall. I don't know if it is, but for the price, it has to be. Let's try it. Mm, it has a decent amount of common. It's, it's okay. It's a bit too buttery, I think, and not so spicy. I guess it's because of the tourists. I don't know. It's okay, but too expensive. <laughs> what do you think? It's very mild. Let's do some quick history about this place. So in uh, 1873, Buda and Pest was two different um, cities. There was Buda and Pest and Old Buda also. But in 1873, they became one big city and it doubled their population until around the 1900s. Budapest experienced rapid economic growth and uh, it turned out that they needed a big place where you could go and shop. You could also bring tourists there, not so many back then, but a big place where you could shop, you could buy groceries and everything, and you wanted to be very central. The plan was actually to build all the market halls all around Budapest at the same time, so you got this new development. It was a way to move forward. And if you remember, we talked about another video, that between 1880 and 1914, before First World War, Hungary had this peaceful and very glorious period, they say, with the big Hungarian. So this was a big step forward, and it's, uh, it's just a majestic building, and you really have to come and check it out. What a view we have, it's like, it's so living down here and you see thousands of people just buying groceries and also tourists just looking, not paying, but anyway, it's, um, I mean, not much have changed in the last 50 years, I guess, after they rebuilt this, because in the Second World War it got hit very badly, so um, in the 50s and 60s they did a lot of renovation to uh, rebuild it. This is a dream for me. I could live here. <laughs> well, then I have to earn more. I'm ready to 
didn't know, but this building is actually one of the largest markets in uh, in Central Europe. It's quite uh, quite interesting. Thank you for watching. Um, we try to bring more content about Budapest because we moved here. But we're also going to make some of the best that is on YouTube. So subscribe for more great content about Hungary.